I have three scenarios I want to test. The first is going to be Wi-Fi, the second is going to be 3G, and the third is going to be the iPad connected to my Sprint Overdrive mobile hotspot. So let's first run the speed test connected to regular Wi-Fi. This is my home router, Verizon Fios service. I'm using the speed test app. This app's made for the iPhone, so it's a little pixelated. Sorry about that. But let's first run it and see how fast my home Wi-Fi router is with the iPad 3G. So there you can see I'm getting 13,645 kbps download and 14,574 up. So the next thing I'm going to do is switch out of this and connect to the overdrive, which is actually sitting right over here. You can't see it because it's dark, but it is uh, over there and it's on. So I'm going to go into Wi-Fi, going to switch to the overdrive. Let's make sure it switches over. I'm now connected to the overdrive. So now let's go back to the speed test, see how well we do with the overdrive. Okay, here we go. So the overdrive drive is $60 a month. It's basically simulating Wi-Fi, but it's actually a 3G connection. It does also have 4G, but I'm actually over 3G right now at my house. I don't get 4G. And there you go, wow, pretty slow guys. 530 kbps down, and let's see what we get up. Pretty slow. Um, that's pretty disappointing. 723 up. That is pretty disappointing. And then the last thing I want to do is go back and turn Wi-Fi off completely. We'll kick into 3G. And let's see how fast we are over 3G. Go back into the speed test. And now we're testing 3G. See how fast or slow we are over 3G. I do get full strength 3G at AT&T at my house, so it's as good a connection as it's going to get. And uh, we'll see where we are. 750 down, so better than the overdrive, which is actually surprising for me. I thought the overdrive would be quicker. And let's see where we're at up. 361 up. So the overdrive was faster for up, but you're not really doing a lot of uploading with the um, iPad. So downloading it was 750. So there you go. A brief look at, you know, three different mobile methods to connect to the internet on the iPad. We looked at both Wi-Fi with my home network. We looked at simulated Wi-Fi, if you will, with the overdrive. And then we looked at 3G on the 3G iPad. It looks like the obvious choice, the home network, home Wi-Fi is the fastest. Second was AT&T 3G, and followed up in the rear is the Sprint Overdrive. All right, guys, now we're going to do some quick speed tests using the 3GS for comparison. I have the iPad 3G and the 3GS. I've cleared both the history on both devices, and what I'm going to do now is load up some websites and just see which, you know, load faster and whatnot. Right now, they're both on Wi-Fi. We're going to go to the 6abc.com website. It's a local news channel. I'm going to try to hit them both at the same time, see if I can do it. I think I got them both at the same time. You can see the iPad is a little bit faster. It's already started to load the page. There goes the 3GS, though. I would expect the iPad to be a little bit faster. It does, you know, render pages a bit faster. And like I expected, it's a little ahead Looks like maybe five seconds faster for the iPad. Let's try one more site, and then we'll actually switch over to 3G on the iPad and see, you know, which is faster there. So let's go to Yahoo on both. And there you go. Again, the 3GS was pretty quick that time. Rendered the page quite nice. This one, the iPad's already done. 3GS is still going, and now it's done. So... Connected to Wi-Fi, we're only seeing maybe like a five-second difference. The iPad is just a little bit faster. So now I'm going to go and turn off Wi-Fi on the iPad and connect to 3G. And let's see how much faster the 3GS over Wi-Fi is. Go back to Safari. And get my bookmarks open. We'll pick another site. How about what's on iPhone? There we go. A lot of these sites have mobile sites that the 3GS just picks up right away. And uh, that one looks like the 3G iPad was quicker. The 3GS is catching up, though. Okay, the iPad is almost done. So, yeah, as you can see that, you know, browsing over 3G, it's really not a bad experience on the iPad. Um, both devices are not quite yet finished. Um, there goes the 3GS. They almost finished at the same exact time. You can see, for me, you know what? It's not a terrible experience. We'll try Yahoo. Um, let me go back. 
back. Try Yahoo, and that'll be the last one we try. We'll see how well they do that. There goes 3GS, definitely faster. See, it's almost fully connected where the 3G iPad hasn't even loaded it yet. So you definitely have some hesitations with the 3G. Um, there it goes. I, that was pretty slow, guys. But once it kicked in, you know, network latency and whatever, um, it, it did load it up fairly fast. So all in all, you know, the, Browsing over 3G on the iPad is pretty much what you expect if you're used to browsing over 3G on the 3GS or 3G phone, the iPhone. It's going to be a similar experience. You know it's not going to be blazing fast, but it's going to get the job done. So that is a brief look at this various speed tests that I did. Uh, you know, nothing scientific, just kind of shooting from the hip hair, testing out the various stuff. And if you have any questions about any of it, Drop me a line if there's something you want to see that I didn't do. You know, let me know, and uh, we'll go from there. Have a great day.